Good evening, I'm Laura Yamada. And I'm Paula Akana. New information on the Pearl City man who was stabbed and whose house was set on fire yesterday. KITV 4's Catherine Cruz has learned exclusive new details. Catherine? Well, tonight we talked to several people who knew the victim, but not as David Davis, but as David Domzalski, one of his many aliases. Police are trying to solve the mystery of what led to the attack on a Pearl City man who worked at a Waipahu towing company. One of the people who recognized the 52-year-old man was his former mother-in-law. Helen Kohashi told KITV when she saw his picture on the news, the face was familiar, but not the name Davis. Davis, or Domzalski, was found stabbed and burned over what neighbors say may have been a dispute over his towing business. Kohashi told KITV Domzalski used to be married to her daughter. Kohashi says after Cheryl died of cancer in 2003, she lost touch with him. But she did tell us Domzalski used to own a gun shop in Windward, Oahu, which may account for the guns and ammunition police found at the home. She says he used to be involved in a firing range on Oahu's North Shore and used to own the Pacific Gun Exchange. Other gun enthusiasts remembered Domzalski from more than a decade ago when he owned his shop, but say he moved away and they hadn't heard from him since. Court records show the Pearl City man had several aliases, including David Domzyski. A David Davis was involved in a standoff with police in October of last year. His former mother-in-law says she wasn't aware of his different identities, but said he had talked to family in New York. Now, police are still questioning a man that they arrested last night in connection with the attack. David Silverman remains behind bars and has not yet been charged. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.